Hey, how's it going? Yeah, you. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald in the last episode. Oh, by the way, I'm the nerd. But anyways, in the last episode, we did a whole bunch of things. We went around this route, we went around this round, defeated Team Aqua there, and our rival. In this episode, we get around, round, get around, we get around, yeah, get around, get around, get around we get around Fortree City. Oh yeah, you had no idea how long I wanted to do that, and that's right, the nerd can sing. Anyways, uh, what do you have to say? Trading Pokemon with others, blah blah blah. Oh, here's the most pointless trade ever. A Volbeat for a Plusle. These games have the most pointless trades ever. Unless, of course, is that Malcohita one, which is a pretty decent if you need a Malcohita very early. In case, of course, you have Torchic or Trico. Well, Mudkip can work too with Trigo, Torchic, or Mudkip. Talk to this man right here, he'll teach you a hidden. not hidden power, not. he'll teach you Sleep Talk, which is a move tutor. move? Uh, basically, if your Pokemon is asleep, the Pokemon can attack. This only works if your Pokemon is asleep, so. not the best choice. Talk to this lady. People! Pokemon! Their hidden powers are aroused by living natural environments. Let this old woman see if your hidden power has awoken. Hold a coin. I hold a coin in my hand. Now tell me, I have plum palmed it in the right hand or in the left? Uh, you want to say right first? Oh yes, correct. We shall try again. In which hand have I palmed the coin? Right or left? Right again. Oh yes, correct. We shall try again. In which hand have I palmed the coin? The right or the left? And you want to click left. Oh, splendid. Your hidden power has awoken. Here, take this and awaken the hidden power of your Pokemon. We get TM TM10 in case you didn't miss, in case you missed uh, one of my earlier episodes. TM10 contains Hidden Power. Now, Hidden Power, if we look at its description, I have two of these TMs, by the way. <laughs> Sorry for not mentioning that earlier. Hidden Power is a normal type, but it cannot be any, it can be any type but normal. Unless, of course, you have a Delcaddy in 4th and 5th generation with the ability normalized. Then, and only then, will it be Hidden Power. And the power, and the hidden power's power and type depend on your Pokemon's IV. For example, uh, IVs can be a maximum of 31. If all status, HP, attack, speed, special attack, special defense, have all 31, you will receive hidden power, dark, and the type, and the power will be 70. How do I know all that? I went on Pokemon Online. <laughs> oh, there's something blocking our way. What is it? Something unseeable is in the way. Darn it. Darn it, government! Why won't you allow us to go in here? You and your stupid invisible bodyguarding wall? Now we go on the other side. There's a Mari here, but I'm not gonna even bother going in there. Uh, what do you have in here? Pokemon... Da -da 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 -da. Nothing important. The tree houses of Portrait are great. I think it's a number one town for living together in Pokemon. Yes, this place is really unique, because you get to go on these little bridges here. Does your town do that? I think not. Look at your town. Now back to this. Now back at your town. Now back to this. Sadly, your town does not have bridges. <laughs> In here, you can buy secret item bases. One side has chairs that matches the tables on the other side. I actually might have to buy one of these. Heavy desk, rack desk, comfort desk, work desk, camp desk, hard desk. Um... Let's go with the Ragged Desk. That looks kind of neat. I like that. Of course, in this episode, I do a lot of shopping, too. Of course, when I when we move out to our new house, it's going to be a big pain to move all that furniture. And furniture. We bought new furniture. I believe there's some in there. Here we are, outside of Route 120. Uh, this is the place where my last teammate would have been if it wasn't Absol. Since, of course, Sugar Conway takes the Absol, I do not again want to steal Shuka Conroy's ideas, quote, even though I already, already played the game and already have his Lumbre, his Vigoroth, and his Combuskin. I decided, you know, Grimer would be good. Send it Absol. Since, of course, he used it in episode... Was it episode 20? It was episode 20-something, that's all I know. But we are going to be catching it anyway because I want to give it an honorable mention of what it could have been. Oh, with a. Oh, also, she also sends out a Wilmer. This Wilmer sprout, I used to think the snouts on this top were its eyes. 
and the eyes were actually its nose. <laughs> Very weird if you ask me, but I now realize Wilmer's eyes are near the teeth. Or on top of the teeth. Not on top of the actual below the nostril and on top of the teeth. That's what I mean. So for complete dedication, let's go ahead and find this Pokemon. Hmm. Pretty interesting. They have Poochianas in this route. You think they'd be done with this dog, but apparently they are not, so <laughs> that's weird. We're faster than it, and we can run away using runaway. <laughs> Wait, is there an item here? Maybe there's items in one of these patches. Let's see. Maybe not. Oh, we found his evolution! <laughs> that's nice. Oh uh, god. My items are still really annoying. There's no items in here. There must be an item in the final patch. Who knows? Another Mighty Anna! Okay, that's pretty awkward. We found two Mighty Annas, a male and a female, and we found its baby at level 26. It must be a two-year-old, then. Okay, I think there's an item in this patch. Really? If it's an Absol, I'll understand. Meryl! Gosh darn it. By the way, I should mention Meryl... I mean, not Meryl, Absol has an 8% chance of appearing in these grasses. There's also a 1% chance of finding a Pokemon that we can battle pretty much any time later on. You'll see exactly later once I find this Absol. Which is going to take a huge amount of huge pain in the Gluteus Maximus long time. Or big penis in the Gluteus Maximus amount of time. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> So, off we go into off-screen training world, starting now. Here it is! This is the Pokémon I was originally going to be using, but again, Shuka Kongra used it before I did, so it was a big waste, and of course, it's because I do the every three-day upload series, and I have not done that and continued using po doing Pokémon Emerald, but the one we used as before he did. Oh well. It's a female too, so... Wow, they're getting a lot of females recently. Female Scurry, female Grimer, female Absol, and I think Tropius. No, Tropius was a male, so... Uh, this will definitely work. Let's see if I can kill... Get this thing to... Three... Oh, by the way, it's defenses. It's pretty good on attack. I would recommend it Absol either way. It's got pretty good attack. However, it does not have the best defense to cover it. It's a female, so... I'm going to be dedicating this Absol to a really good friend of mine. That would have been a really been a lot more powerful, Ish, but I'm complaining about Shogun Kong using Absol. Ilana, aka Angel of the Night 091. Her link will be in the description below. She's a great friend of mine, really great wife of battler. My feet is her. That was really weird, me stopping in the middle of recording just to fix my foot. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> But it wasn't some kind of pain, I'm not exactly sure what kind of pain it was, but it wasn't some sort of pain. Anyways, what we want to do now is talk to Steven right here. Hmm, Blake. Hmm, Blake. Hi. It's been a while. There's something here you can't see, right? Of course, the invisible block. The invisible force shields that Sopa makes. <laughs> it's the internet people's job to make fun of Sopa. No, if I already used its device on this invisible obstacle, no, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Like, are you ready for battle? Um, yes, actually I am. <laughs> and Steven used the depth and scope, an invisible Pokemon completely visible. The start, the start of Pokemon attacked. This Pokemon is Kecleon. It has a 1% chance of appearing in- AY! Just really ridiculous. Anyways, this Kecleon has a 1% encounter, as I said before. I'm gonna go ahead and catch this thing. I'm not in the best mood because, again, my freaking sister. I wanna. Next time she comes in, I'm really gonna punch her. That was not necessary. And a poison type? I didn't think of poison, surprisingly. Alright, let's go ahead and throw in. Let's see what a great ball does. It's. Probably not gonna be doing a whole lot. One, two, three. Actually, it did do something. 
Okay. Thought it was actually gonna pop out for a moment. And Kickly, on the color swap Pokemon and Pokemon that changes his ability to alter his body colors to match his surroundings. I can only reverse to his original colors if it is startled. Give a nickname to Kecleon. Um, it's not my technically my sister's fault that she came in. We're gonna blame it on Kecleon for this episode, then I'm gonna go back to blaming it on her. Yes, my sister is older than me. It it sucks, literally. I'm not even gonna bother talking about all this dialogue. Of course it's pointless. And I'm gonna go around here without running into a that's what repels them. What am I talking about? talking really soft because I do not want my sister coming here. I do not want to punch her because that would be against the laws of nature. And that Luggy has died from running away from a Kecleon. And we get a nest ball. Awesome sauce. I'm sorry if I've been less energetic throughout this other half of the episode, but again, my sister. Again, I want to strangle her. Again, if she ever comes in here again, I will strangle her, punch her, make her bleed for some odd reason. Watch me lose a lot of subscribers because I'm just want to torture my sister so badly. But uh, try and live with her for like your entire life. You will want to do the same thing. I guarantee you that. Just annoying as heck. Oh. Yeah, I did Shadow Pokemon Center healing. That's because my grandma fainted. Oh my god, this is so really... Dang it. I'm gonna have to zoom in a little bit closer because you can't really hear my voice. And now remember the Kecleon earlier? Use the Devon's scope and... Okay, oh god, I thought it froze for a moment. And he runs away into the trees. So, this is where we're going to be heading towards in the next episode. Next episode, we'll be taking on the Fortree City Gym, and it's Gym Leader, Winona. Winona. I used to think it was called Winona for some odd reason. So, I'm going to end up right here. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And sorry for my sister being rude and coming in at the wrong timing. Peace.